All right, check it out, everybody. I'm out here at the old mill with Justin from Good of the Land. I got him standing off camera here just a little bit. There he is. Uh, we're working on one of his projects, uh, which is a 2x72 belt grinder. Um, super cool deal. Uh, if his video is up by the time we get this up, I'm going to link it in the description or I'll go back and add it shortly. Uh, definitely worth looking at. But uh, we ran into this a couple times and we said, hey, this is a good video shoot. Uh, sharpening your twist drills. Um, the DIY way. The way that most of us would do it in the garage or here um, at the old mill. Using a belt sander. Ideally, you would have... Uh, a drill gauge that you can set this thing with or that you can check it with um, you can get them it's a general brand tool I'll also put that link in the description uh, super easy to do so I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques on how to do this this comes straight out of the machine shop uh, an old guy taught me this and it works great so this twist drill is in really sad shape and I'm gonna get this thing up close so you can take a look at it here um, I actually roughed it out a little bit and ground quite a bit off of it. I can't quite tell if that's focusing or not. Let's see. Get a little bit of spin. Okay, so I'm going, going to go ahead and I'm going to rough this thing out. And the important part is to watch how you do it. Um, this little belt sander, uh, Justin made me a believer out of this thing the other day. <laughs> this is just the 1 by 30 okay? And it's not the belt sander that's, that's making this thing work. It's the belt. Uh, it's a Norton Blaze belt. These things cut like you wouldn't believe. So check it out. Uh, we're going to get started grinding this real quick. So the first thing we're going to go for is about, a, we're going to rough it out at about 118 degrees included angle. So the thing to remember here is not rolling the drill this way. Uh, what that does is it, or actually what it does not do, is give release clearance on the back. And you can actually see this side is actually a little taller than the cutting edge. So the way you want to do this, you want to lay into the cutting edge, roll it straight up. Lay into the cutting edge, straight up. Okay, so we're getting pretty close right there to where we want to be at. Pro tip number 452,007, keep the thing cool. You don't want it to get too hot. Not only will you burn yourself, you also ruin the got a little bit of offset there so we're going to cut this one a little further back. It's getting real close to perfect. I think one more time on that side will be good. I'm not happy with that point so we're going to knock it down a little bit. Relief might be a little high. We'll just check it real quick. And one more time there. And if you're OCD about the appearance, hit it lightly on the cutting edge. Pull it straight up. Lightly on the cutting edge. Straight up. And it looks like it was done in a machine. Now we're going to test it out. Try to keep the drill as high up in the chuck as you can so there's not much tool extension to allow the tool to swivel around like this when it touches the, uh, the center punch. There it is. Now, 
in this particular part it's really kind of hard to tell but that hole turned out really good chips come out of both flutes which is mainly what you're after if you have a drill point gauge to set this with uh, you'll notice that the drill chips will come out perfect every time and uh, that's pretty much it we're gonna go ahead and call that quits on this video um, just a super quick shop tip how to sharpen a twist drill nothing to it once again thanks everybody for subscribing stopping by checking out the video um, if you haven't already be sure and give it a thumbs up check out Justin's channel at the Old Mill Farm it's the channel is called uh, for the good of the land and that's it